Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to, to order on this fourth day of February 2023 at 5 p.m. Uh, we have Brother David Coleman here. He's going to come up and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to flag. Yes. Let us bow our heads, please. Lord, we just want to thank you for this night. Lord, we thank you for the magistrates. We thank you for the judge of executives. We thank you for each and every one officials being in here. And we just give you the praise, Lord. And we ask you in all things to give us an understanding of your business and the business of the Ohio County family, Lord. And we just ask in the county and the families just to come together as one, Lord, and be on one accord. And thank you for blessing us, Lord, in this city and in, and in this uh, courtroom right now in the, in the matter of what you have in store for us tonight and uh, presidents and governors, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next thing, we're going to go a little bit of, out of order here. But I've got a presentation to make. And uh, I'd like Jason and... Uh, Jason and Ginger, would you, can you come up here? <laughs> we'll come over here so we won't be blocking in by the way. Bye. Yeah. That's it. She wants to get it. Yeah. How are you tonight? Doing good. Thank good. you for having good. me. Um, what we want to do, we want to recognize Beaver Dam Elementary because they had uh, the highest amount of donations to the Ohio County Blood Drive of anyone in the area. And we're very proud of that, and we want to give them that recognition. It was 816 donors this year. 816. That's, that's a record. A, that's a bunch, isn't it? Most ever. All right. It's actually one of the largest blood drives in the whole country. Yeah. Oh, my. So, Not just the state, the whole country. Yes, the whole country. Wow. So, thank you for, for honoring our school. We appreciate it. We're proud, sir. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Mr. Bologna. You don't want a hug? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want a hug. I know she loves the hug. Thank you. I think we've done done this, Judge, but I'd like to bring up about horse branch getting the best scores. And yep, we, we, we I'm did proud that. of that. Yeah, we are. We did that a few meetings back. Uh, next, we have the uh, minutes of the January 24th meeting. I need a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the January 24th minutes. I'll second. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Bob Bennett. Is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discuss, discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none? On favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion to um, Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Uh, we would like to have a motion to approve that. So moved for discussion. I'll, I'll second for the motion by Larry Morphew, second by Jason Bullock. Uh, discussion. What is this LGEA transfer <clears throat> to repay the loan? Three hundred thousand. That's where we had to pay all the blacktop up front. So I had to transfer. For last year, it's just now. Well, I had to pay it last fall, so I had to transfer three hundred thousand out of our emergency fund into there. And now then I've gotten the money back and I'm putting it back. Any other questions or, or uh, discussion? Is actually what I'm supposed to ask it. If there is none, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. The bills are, 
are done. Uh, this next one is a tough one. Not really. The, the next one is the Treasurer January 2023 financial statement. And all we need to do is, is the note that she gave it to us. This is Valentine's Day. All that's actually the, the clerk's yeah. motion by Jason not, Bullock. Not the treasures. Second by Mike. Okay, second by Bo Ben. Oh yeah, that is the clerk's. It's the clerk's uh, financial report, not the well, treasures. We, we got the, the the treasure statement above that. Yeah. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 It's acknowledged. We got it. Next is the clerk's okay. January 2023. Financial statement. We need the same thing on the end. I'll make a motion. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Yeah. Opposed, like sign. Uh, we've accepted that one. Uh, resolution 2023 18 Rough River Flood Inundation Mapping Project. Charlie, you got anything to say on that? Yes, sir. We uh, we got a grant from DLG and the Farm Bureau last year to, to put a river gauge out here in Crom or Crom put it out here in Hartford at the ramp, and we needed some more money, so I got with DLG, and they're going to finish paying it for the next five years. I think it's like fifty-seven thousand, I think, and uh, so it's free money for us. It's just a pass-through. And what are what are they doing with it? It's a River gauge out here on the city of Hartford, okay. right here on the. I thought it was a gauge. Checks yeah, elevation. Gauge. Okay. Yeah, tells elevations for the downstream farmers, all them that really help them out when they're farming. Yeah, I, I was surprised just how much they do use it. Do I have a motion? So move. Motion to Larry Morphew. Second. Second to Jason Bullock. To approve resolution 2023-18. 20, uh, is there any discussion or more questions for Charlie? Being none, all in favor say aye. Yeah. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, we have resolution 2023-19. 20, it's a house bill money for the coal severance project. We have to approve the uh, uh, that resolution to be able to put the money where it's supposed to go and start with. Did I hear a motion? What, what are we off? What project are they authorizing for the 173316? The uh, road department equipment that we've already bought. Okay. Uh, where does it say that? I've looked at my uh, It's right here. Oh, okay. I see it down there. Yes. Okay. All right. So you make a motion, Jay? I'll make a motion, yes. Motion by Jason Bullock. I'll say. Second by Bo Bennett. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. All opposed, like sign. That motion carried. Uh, next, I ask uh, when I met with all the mayors, some um, right after, uh, uh, before the first year, I guess, I met with all the new mayors, and all the mayors, period. And we talked about we wanted to put an interlocal agreement with all the cities to do what we exactly do now. We share equipment, we help each other when we can, but we need this interlocal agreement to make it all uh, legal. Justin wrote it, but the city of Beaverdam has already passed it. I'll make a motion that we accept the uh, resolution 2023-20 for the uh, Beaverdam interlocal agreement. Motion by Jason Bullock. And just to add to the motion to the judge um, to execute that agreement. Now, judge, it's my understanding when I wrote when I when I, I wrote this that it was the county supplying as 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 may be needed the city equipment, materials, or such. If it, if the need arises, does it need to be reciprocal then? And yes. I'm, yes. And so, if the court would approve just the amendment to the interlocal agreement indicating that it would be reciprocal in nature. Uh, then they could prove the resolution, the judge to sign it uh, with the addition that the city uh, also could supply to us. I would just have to add that. That's, that's Do we have a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Second I hope it's there. better than the uh, one they got with the Beaverdale Fire Department on uh, mutual aid. 
they're not wanting to live up to it. I hope this is better. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion. Don't we have to pass a lease like every city though? Yeah. Okay. We've done, we're doing one tonight, and I, and I expect all the other five that tonight's okay. time. We just want to make sure if you had any questions. Did, I didn't want to prepare them all until, unless there were some questions. Or okay. Uh, resolution 2023-21. Uh, 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 it's about solid waste. Charlie, you want to tell us about that one? Yes, sir. It's a, our five-year plan. We have to do it every five years. We already got all six cities to sign their resolutions. So we just have to update it, tell who the, if there's a change of the judge, change of the managers, we have to do that every five years. So that's what that is, to keep our money rolling in here. Which we get for picking up on the side of the road. Trust me, makes a full-time job and then some. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Bo Bennett. I'll second Bo's motion. Second by uh, Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying, don't you care? Judge, while I'm up here, no, we don't have to come back later. Uh, I got a vehicle there. It's a 2006 F-250, <coughs> 164,000 miles that we want a surplus. Ann's got the picture right there that she can show y'all. Uh, it hasn't run in quite two years. We've kept it. and. We're just going to try to sell it on gut deals. Was it running when you parked it? I can't honestly answer that. It actually it was did a little bit. It did. It didn't fit uh, every department out there basically tried that truck at one time. Uh, it had no traction whatsoever. It was a big, long truck. You couldn't pull even a lawnmower with it. The truck would spin all the time. If you got in even in one blade of grass, it would spin. But then since then, it's actually gotten some repair issues too. So I just need approval to do that, but I'll get to this. Your motion? I'll make a motion to surplus the truck. Motion to Jason Bullock. Michael, don't you want to second something tonight? Uh, well, I can, <laughs> I can second that. Yeah, I'll second the motion to put that on the gut deals. Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, ever, uh, any discussion? There are more questions for Charlie on it? Being that all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Get all you can get out of it on good deals. I do have a question about that truck. Uh, who who received the funds from that truck? <laughs> uh, well, emergency management sort of has their eye on it. I guess it comes back into the county general fund, and I guess we could look at that later, but uh, he, he's sort of got ideas for it already. Well, he do, he who do we have to belong to before we decide to sell it today? <laughs> Well, no, actually, it didn't belong to him. I, it didn't. It, uh, it sat out there for a year and a half. I, we put the tires on it and put the battery in it and got it going. It was once we to drag it out. It wants to belong to park the golf course. Well, I think we should take bids on who wants it to worse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Say, there you go. I Is it one of those trucks we bought every year, though, with some of your money? Did no. We, did we just push no, it No, not that. That takes way back for all of us. Okay. So. This was bought during the ice storm. Oh, okay. That, that's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a truck that's been missing for some time? I ain't going to get into that. I get into enough stuff here as it is. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like that. Motion carried. Uh, next, we have the uh, administrative code amendment. Uh, it will be an ordinance, so it will be a first reading and a second reading. I have to make the motion because it's not genuine on the administrative code issues. So I want to make the motion that if we get a second, we can have discussion and Ann can sort of explain it to you. So I make the motion. I'll second, I'll second your motion for discussion. Second by Jason Bullock. So now questions. Well, first of all, uh, Ann can just give you a highlight of what he did to change his work. Is that what you'd give us here, Ann? Is that the... uh -huh. I have one that's copied to highlight in our mode. Well, you're on the committee. If you'd rather take it up, Jason. No, I'm gonna let Ann. She wants to put up. That's if somebody wants to see a highlight copy. Okay. Um, basically, two two big things is it defined a working lunch for employees. Um, 
Does anybody need the definition of that? It's just if you're, you know, you're in the office and sitting at your desk eating lunch, um, you still have to be available to answer the phone or wait on anybody that comes in. The second one is to uh, define a school resource officer, SRO. In the past, they've had to term at the end of May, the end of the school year, and then they had to be rehired in August. Therefore, they lost that health insurance for those two months. Uh, we found a um, category in the Kentucky Retirement that is a person who is full-time but works less than 12 months, and that, that would fit this category. By doing this, that would give them their health insurance through the summer months, and it does state in there that it has to be in the contract with the school board that they are going to reimburse the county for the health insurance. And they do that now during the school year. They reimburse us everything for the SROs. Okay, and on the work and lunch thing, another situation was if they go to a meeting during lunchtime for any uh, any cost with the county, they get paid in to it. It also, in our bid limits, we had uh, the dollar amount, which is currently $30,000. We're going to put in there that we will follow the KRS 424.260, and that way, if it changes, we don't have to go back into the admin code. It'll just will automatically follow that KRS. And right now, it is 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the others are just moving it um, text from one place to where it's better fit in another. Any questions? Uh, like I said, this will require a second reading because it is over the time. So right now, and we need to roll call it since it's a uh, ordinance, if you don't mind doing that. Okay, Johnston? Yes. Howley Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Okay, Sheriff's Quarterly Report. Um, this again, it's not, a, it's actually acknowledged that, that we got it. So they'll be subject to audit. So. I'll acknowledge the Sheriff's quarterly report. Motion by Jason Bull. I'll second Jason. Second by Bob Ben. Any discussion or questions for the Sheriff? Being none, all favor say aye. Yeah. Post like saying that report is accepted, subject to audit or acknowledge or receive, however you want to say it. Uh, we have two motions. I'm not totally understand it that the auditor wanted for the transition on the sheriff's office, the the uh, uh, sheriff's uh, property tax settlement and his uh, uh, franchise tax settlement. The first one on the list is franchise tax settlement. So I entertain a motion to, to approve that. And is it up to par and everything? Oh, I'm sure. No. They have an excellent bookkeeper. <laughs> but it has to go, it'll be subsidized as well. The state auditors will look at it. So who made the motion? Michael, you know, stay in there all night or no? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll second the motion. Who made it? Approved. I'll make it. Okay. <laughs> My, uh, motion by Jason, second by Michael. Any, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Post like sign. It, it passed. Now we're ready for the same thing except this is the property tax settlement. I'd like to make a motion to approve the property tax settlement for the Okay. Do I have a second? Second by Bo Bean. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed right. like sign. Motion carried. Next up, we're going to call on our OCDA director, uh, Jason Chen, to give us a 40,000 foot view of what's going on in the economic development account. I'll be brief since it's Valentine's Day and I won't get Larry in trouble. Uh, the good news is Kentucky Whiskey, uh, you're all aware of the development, first that, first uh, new tenant in the park in 20 years, so uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, they, if you haven't been out by it, I encourage you to drive out by it. I mean, it's under <coughs> roof. Uh, they anticipate 
Uh, end of June, not going to happen. Probably going to be sometime in August uh, is what it's looking like. Um, as you probably know, the relationship between OCEDA and GRIDA has been rocky at best in the past. Uh, that is going really good. We've come together. Uh, GRIDA is now having their meetings at the hub. Uh, they are utilizing Christina to take minutes. Uh, it's, it's going really good. So that, that's a plus. Uh, everybody wins when that happens. So the revolving loan fund, there's currently five local businesses uh, that are taking advantage of that. Recently had two complete payoffs. Uh, I think our balance in that's around just under 80,000 uh, that's still available. So, and, and that's, it's popular. I mean, we get calls, not weekly, but every other week, uh, wanting to know how to get, you know, some low interest money and, and see what we can do to help their business. Uh, the last thing I got is, uh, if you've had any complaints on the, the fungus from the Rick houses, uh, located out on Country Club Drive, uh, they are being addressed. Uh, they started pressure washing the fences today. Uh, they have contacted all the property owners that have made a public complaint or reached out to somebody that we've heard of, uh, and they're going to uh, pressure wash their houses as well. So, um, got any questions for me? If not, let Larry get his cake out of the oven early. Is that something they're going to have to do from now on, wash it down? Or? You know, I don't know. I mean, Judge and I met with him early on after he had maybe one or two complaints. Uh, he, he called for a meeting and, and they come in and, and was very receptive. Uh, basically told us that, you know, in Bardstown, you know, it initially was an issue. And, you know, if you do regular maintenance or pressure washing on your house, you should, shouldn't notice it again. So, uh, but I assure you that uh, the judge is on it. When he gets a complaint, I get a complaint and phone calls are made and, and they hear from us. We're up to seven now. Seven. Seven residents. So, uh, and, and there's going to be some more once word gets out. Somebody's going to notice something. Uh, but they are addressing some issues with those rick houses uh, on the ventilation. Uh, and they hope that's going to, going to kind of cure a lot of it. So. Anything else? Uh, I, well, just along that line, as you know, uh, on the OC, the board, there's a uh, magistrate uh, representative on there. And Sam Small was it, and since he's gone out of office, uh, I want to, uh, and, and the OC, the board, wanted and recommended Jason Bullock. So I'm putting Jason Bullock's name up for a, to replace uh, Sam Small on that board. And uh, that would require, just that I did it, and it would require a roll call uh, approval vote. Johnston? Yes. Yeah. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, don't require a motion, but it needs to be in the minutes, and I need to re re say it out loud, that I authorize each and every one of you magistrates if you choose to, can perform weddings. Uh, I think it's going to say that you may. It does not say that you shall. So it's your choice whether you do or not. But you are all now officially authorized to do so. And with this, it's done. Uh, there were no committees met today. Is there any met? Other than the meeting, have anybody had a committee meeting? Any committees met? We're probably going to meet about the uh, buffer zone, but um, when next meeting? Yeah, uh, Mr. Um, Ken Callaway was out of so there was no. Yeah, okay. yeah. we got to get that here. done. And uh, also, the uh, uh, corrections board will be meeting what in the next month? Well, I would say so. I'm not sure on the jail. Yeah, we meet the 21st. 21st. Now you're talking about the regional jail committee. Oh, the community correction. I'm not for sure. Jimmy was <clears throat> going to talk there, but I'm not for sure on that. Okay. Um, but we are redoing that because we need to get some grant money for the uh, uh, arch office. Uh, I think that uh, I think that the, uh, I think probably is the next. Uh, 
be the uh, property owners uh, commit, uh, protection committee should meet, uh, otherwise known as the as the uh, buffer zone committee. We'll meet sometime before the next meeting. I'll, I'll try to get with him. He's he's out of town, so yeah. we'll try to get for the next meeting. Is there any other committees reporting? Uh, at the uh, next meeting, I'll have Michael. It's going to be heading up a new uh, group that's going to try to help our animal control officer get volunteers in, things like that, at the animal shelter. And uh, uh, we have a committee now that basically deals with the ordinance, but this is going to be a little broader and everything like that. So hopefully, he can give us a report on that at the at the next meeting. We have not had anything on it at this point. Uh, I was going to talk to you about that before the meeting, Michael, and I forgot. So we'll try to meet before the next court meeting. And you'll be the one to give the report on it. Okay, now then, call the magistrates. Uh, Michael? No new business for the first district. Second district, third district. Fifth district. Did uh, Susan Myers have to get back about some more money for the uh, Chiggerville? No, budget? no. But we've talked about that today with uh, with uh, Eric and uh, and uh, Bo actually. And we talked about it. And uh, we're going to go all avenue, all routes you can to try to get enough to loop that in. So that's that's what you're talking about the money because I, I do think. That that's the best way to go about but the, it. But the engineering, Bo, I think we understood this right. The engineer is going to look at it since they're on, re, on retainer and give us some idea. Who yeah, is the engineer? Uh, I, I don't know. It's whoever the water district yeah. uses. Yeah. Uh, how, how much more are we talking about? Is it looked? Is, it, is there a, almost as much more as we've got? Another yeah. half million anyway. Yeah, we don't have a water right now. But it would make it a totally new game. It would help uh, uh, several other communities as well as that. One. It would add it would add the Chiggerville Road on it, and it would add uh, all those other uh, help those communities have low pressure as well, and then it wouldn't have to be flushed. I understand the reason low pressures are not keeping their uh, water tanks full. That's what I was told. I know sometimes at Rosine we have low water pressure, and that. Uh, Windy Hill tank is about dry, is what I've been understanding. Yeah, I think it's because of the volume of water out in the line to try to keep as low as needed. I mean, don't want to overdo it because uh, that uh, it gets stale if it's in there too long. And I just can't see that much money for no more than it is. And it's they could take a shovel and a pick and bury the water line because it's all strip mines, most of it. And there's no rock or nothing, no roads to go on, or creeks or nothing. Well, now, now the extra money was just a wild guess. We won't know until the engineer gets done with it. Justin, you got anything? I do, Judge. Normally not, but I do. I got, <clears throat> I got an email. Uh, uh, we had a conference at the latter part of the week last week. So I either got an email Friday afternoon or, or yesterday. Um, in addition to what the Attorney General received uh, as, a, as a result of opiate settlement from the state level, the county had pending uh, claims uh, against various uh, pharmaceutical companies. The attorney, that uh, the, the law firm that represents the various counties or cities has indicated to me they're close in settlement. He sent me four exhibit Ks uh, to a proposed settlement. <clears throat> asking for the court's approval on those so that he can proceed further. If the court wants time to look at those, I certainly understand because you've not been provided those yet. I have reviewed them, uh, and we could do it at the next meeting. If you want to go ahead and consider it, the sooner the better, he thought. Uh, it would be up to you. Uh, I, he didn't have the amounts for me right now, uh, but it, it is uh, it's similar to the state on kind of, um, uh, you know, what you... Um, what they believe their tracking show what you would be entitled to. So if you wanted to review it and consider it next meeting, certainly understand. If you wanted to uh, allow the judge to sign these releases, it does not affect what we get from the governor. I confirmed that with them today. It's, it's 
no preference to me, just whichever one you want. He just yeah. asked, he just said sooner the better. Yeah. Well, uh, I, w I would love to go ahead and get it done if you guys don't have a problem with it. Can we go ahead and do that? And is there a copy we can get to go ahead and just email? Oh, yeah, it? I, got, I got it here. I can give it to Miranda and have her. If she email. Can be, go, and that way we'll go ahead and get it going, but at least we can re see it. Uh, sure. But I think it's the author, uh, the motion to authorize me to sign that agreement. And you have read over the agreement. Mm -hmm. I, I've read over the releases, and there's still some th wording that they're changing here or there with regard mm -hmm. to some of these settlements. Uh, but it is beneficial to the county and seemed to be an attempt. It's hard for them to track. We, the judge had to answer some interrogatories that I sent to him not long ago uh, with respect to our claims. It, it's hard to know exactly what we're going to receive on this. It would be limited in what we could spend it on. They, they have certain um, things that you can spend it on, mainly for opiate abatement and uh, drug um, alcohol type um, you know, remedies to assist. Would you be able to law enforcement would they get some of it possibly? You know, we would love to be able to see if we could we could uh, get the sheriff's department uh, some, but but I know in a lot of these um, suits, uh, they seem to be pretty uh, restrictive in allowing it to go simply to the sheriff's departments or the police departments. That seemed to be. Uh, uh, a concern that, in a sense, instead of abatement, uh, the courts would simply use it to offset the cost of sheriffs. That's that seemed to be the national kind of uh, thought. Indirectly, it'd be involved with it as far as sure. There could be some things we're indirect. Yes, if 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 it would qualify. Okay. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Motion to allow to allow the, the judge to sign the. Documents for, that the county attorney has uh, recommended. So just so have Miranda go ahead and she can yep. mess. Okay. We can look over there. Can I pull up that email I have to them? That's, that's what you have is what, is what they sent. Yeah, yes. we should just forward it to them. Mm -hmm. yep. I'll That'd be great. And that's it has all the attached. Have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second with Jason Bullock. Is there further, further discussion? And uh, a little bit apologetic, but it come down you know, pretty. Uh, close and they want us to move on it. Uh, the, the quicker we do these things, we'll get some money here. I would rather have got it to you before the meeting, but it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, we just recently got it. If for some reason, what we can, I mean, if there is any concern, I really do not care, but uh, for the, if we come back in two weeks, but uh, if uh, any of you read it and call back, we'll, we'll readdress it. We'll yeah. Call them. Will they be tweeting it anymore? Or will we get the full thing before? That, that, that should be. I don't know if we'll get the full thing before the next meeting, uh, but we should be pretty close. There's a lot of entities that they're having to deal with. And then I've got one other issue. Let's we'll deal on that real quick. Do I'll I'll say say I? Uh -huh. I'll like that. Okay. I'm sorry about that, Judge. I thought you voted. Um, so we have. I spoke to the prior court about this a little bit. There was a tract of land off, off 69, uh, west side of 69. I don't remember how far up now, but it was owned by uh, some uh, Kenneth Lewis and, and Billy Lewis, and they bought it back in 2006. Um, uh, the tax bills were sent uh, from the sheriff's department as customary for the ad valerian taxes. Uh, Miss Lewis. Uh, who is now a widow. Mr. Lewis passed away. Miss Lewis uh, lives in Montana. Uh, she asked to donate it to the county because she had no use for it, wouldn't be back. Uh, I, I, I think she's of elder age and just wasn't going to uh, move or anything of that nature. And she asked if she could just donate it to the county. Uh, we discussed that with the court and the court was, was comfortable with that. It's about five acres. Um, I will tell you that when I ran the title on it, just to make sure there weren't any issues, the property was deeded to Mr. Lewis and Miss Lewis as, as married but not in survivorship, okay? Uh, Miss Lewis indicated that uh, Mr. Lewis died with Will uh, and it was probated in Montana and that gave her an interest. However, she was not interested in doing an ancillary state in, in Ohio County which would reflect his interest passing to Miss Lewis in the clerk's office, okay? Uh, that means we have a deed from Miss Lewis to the county for the five acres. Uh, title is not necessarily marketable at this time, just 
because uh, there would need to be something in the clerk's office to indicate what happened to Mr. Lewis's uh, ownership. Um, we've noted it in the deed, but we can't we can't reference a wheel because it's in Montana unless you guys want to pay me to drive out there to get it and bring it back. I love um, the car. Yeah. I fly. Uh, said she fly. So, yeah, I mean we could we could go and get it and we could start with uh, it does this looks like the best that we can get. Uh, there did not seem to be an intention to continue with payment based on her own finances, so that's why she asked to donate it to the county. I would ask the court to entertain a motion to accept this five acres and for the judge to execute the deed. Does the county have to pay the back taxes? No. We can relieve our own taxes. You hear a motion? I'll make a motion. But it would be based on, on us relieving those taxes, um, which we... I had that number previously, and I believe we looked at it, and it wasn't very much at all because it was five acres of unapproved ground. No structures on it. No. I'll Good. second the motion. We get the property. property. Motion by uh, Jason Bullock, a second by Bo Bennett. Uh, or was it to Michael McKinney? Michael McKinney. Okay. I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed, like to say Okay. Hang on that. That uh, before, just make me a copy and I'll pick it up instead of email it to me. Here you go. Get ready to have it. Oh, I've got one. Okay. Okay. You have anything else, Justin? That's all I have to Thank you. Anybody in the group have anything for the good of the body? Being none. Uh, happy Valentine's Day.